Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today on the chopping block we have the Hercules Mid Torque Brushless Impact Wrench. I'm gonna throw it up against the Chemo Mid Torque Impact Wrench. Both of these guys, they got fully charged up four amp hour, and of course the Hercules only has the five amp hour fully charged up batteries. We're gonna go over this later, but I really like what they've done with the new batteries. Um, both are fairly evenly matched. The Chemo has a couple more uh, 100 RPMs, but does that really matter? Can it take off? lug nuts as much as this thing can, because this little sucker's got some power, let me tell you what. Uh, stick around guys, it's going to be a good head to head, hit that intro. Hold on guys, now before you click off and say, oh Chemo's trash, let me tell you something real quick. This video is sponsored by Chemo, they are nice enough to send this impact wrench to me and I'll tell you why I'm sticking with Chemo and I like them, because this is the third tool they sent me, and the second tool they sent me was one of their uh, hammer drills and I smoked it and I totally blew it up and made their company not look that great. And you know what, they still said, Al, I like your videos, I want to send you another tool, review it, let us know what you think. Honest opinion. Because they know, I'm going to blow up your tool, if it can't handle it, I'm going to say it sucks. So they're nice enough to send me out this little impact wrench. This is a half inch uh, anvil hog ring. They, it only came with a 2 amp hour battery, but I had a 4 amp hour battery from previous videos. I will link all those down below. Go check them out if you want to see me uh, blow up some chemo uh, hammer drills. <laughs> Alright, and this is the Bauer new mid torque. It's not that new. It's been around for, I don't know, 6-8 months, something like that. Alright, so the Hercules has a max of 2200 RPMs, where the chemo claims uh, 3000 RPMs. So, 800 more. <coughs> Sorry, it's up my mouth. The Chemo claims 3,600 impacts per minute, where the Hercules is 2,400 impacts per minute. Now, I'll show you a picture of the box here in a second. On the box it says, oh, up to 550 foot-pounds of uh, breakaway torque. When you go down to the specifications, I'll put a picture here, it says max torque 255 or 56 foot-pounds. So is it 500? Or it says up to 500. But it says max, and then the specification is right here, 256 foot-pounds. So what's the deal there, Hercules? Is it 500 or is it 250? Anyways, have you seen any of my older impact wrench videos? You guys know that my uh, torque wrench here only goes up to 250 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it should be enough for these guys. You'll give a little extra turn, quarter turn. It should be well over 250. Uh, now the chemo, I looked on the site and I could not find what the low RPM setting is. But high uh, is 3,000 RPM. So low is probably right around 2,000. It doesn't give an adequate number anywhere on Amazon site. And of course, you can find my instructor manual. Let's weigh them up real quick, guys, because this Hercules is kind of heavy. Bare tool with the belt clip. We're looking at two pounds, seven ounces. The battery, it's 1.4 pounds. Add that all up, just under five pounds. Yep, 4.1 pounds. Chemo, bare tool, 2.5. What did I say this one was? Which one's lighter? 2.5. 2.7, yeah, so the Hercules is heavier. Battery, 1.4, same as this one. 1.4, that's funny. Almost the exact same weight, guys. Four pounds, so this one is a smidgen lighter. Uh, one thing I don't like, it does not come with a belt clip. This is mine, as you can see, I glued it on there. It's got the belt clip, you gotta have it. Another thing I really like about this, I'm gonna show you. The specifications for these batteries that fit in is so tight, there's no wiggle. I can barely get this in there. Like, you really have to push. There's no wiggle in that battery pack. When I rebought the Milwaukee Gen 3 Impact driver and the hammer drill, there's so much slop in the Milwaukee battery, literally I could shake it like this, which drives me nuts. Chemo, it's pretty close. A tiny, tiny bit of wibble. Wibble, I can't talk. A tiny, tiny bit of wiggle, but not much. Give a close up of the Chemo's control pad. High, low, that's really about it. It does have reverse mode so the bolts don't go flying away. Hold on. See, here's my finger, look. See? That's nice. Full bore, forward, of course full speed. LED light, same with Hercules. It has kind of a yellowish light. You look at it from the side, it looks yellow, kind of like the DeWalt. And then it's white, or blue, whitish blue. I don't know if it picks it up right there, yellow. White, blue. Keypad, high, one, two, three, that's it. Reverse, forward, doesn't have anything fancy. 
it does come with the belt clip. One thing I like about the Hercules batteries now, they have a really nice rubber overmold, which I feel is new. So I haven't had Hercules or Ryobi, or Ryobi, Bauer in probably two or three years. And if I remember correctly, the old Hercules had three LED lights on the back. Guys, let me know down below. Did the old Hercules, they were all plastic and they had three light bars because they were just like DeWalt from what I remember, right? Unless I'm totally wrong. Unless I slipped into a parallel universe, which brings me up. What do you guys think CERN's gonna do on July 5th when they crank up the uh, Large Hadron Collider? What do you think, they're gonna blow some stuff up or what? Shift us into a parallel universe? Anyways. First test guys, we have some eight inch leg bolts here. Both of these are 19 millimeter sockets. Batteries are fully charged up. Both on high. You can see, high and high. All right, keep them on the right. Right to on the left. Place your bets. One, two, three, go. Hercules got that one. Still full bars. Do the chemo does. Full bars. All right, do the pull up. One, two, three, go. charge up just so you guys don't think I'm cheating. So many people are like, oh you switched the chemo with the dead battery. No I did not. A little warm on that one. Woo, a little warm on that one. Let's get the old uh, temp gun and see what the temp's up to here. Sorry about the fan noise guys, it's just really hot. Hercules, 102, 104, chemo, 93, Oh, I saw 104 somewhere. 100, 103, it's about the same. 104. Came a slightly cooler, guys. Nice. Both are using a standard 22 millimeter socket. They're just standard sockets. They're not like one's a heavy socket, one's a, a thin socket to give one an advantage. I mean, this one's a smidge longer. You know, I have three 22 millimeter sockets. That's all I got, okay? We're not gonna mess around with a thousand different uh, specifications, guys. We're gonna just go right down to 230, and then we'll do 250. Oops. There we go, 230. Grab to show you. 230, you guys see it? Do the chemo first, on high, fully charged up. Here we go, the socket right here. Like butter. Two thirty. Fully charged up for the Hercules. Can't see that. I'm high. Barely, she's moving though. Wow, barely did that one. All right guys, I'm gonna do the 230 foot pounds of torque test one more time because I feel like the chemo socket was maybe a little bit bigger. 
giving it a slightly more of an advantage. So we're gonna torque this bad boy back down. There we go, 230. I got the other one on here, this is the Master Force. It's a little bit smaller walled. Let's see if you can do it. Fully charge the battery still, guys. Not high. Here we go. Like butter. 240. You see that right there? 240? And yes, I know. over my lug nuts is not good, but I do it for the channel. I'd be willing to replace a stud if I have to. Fully charged up. Five on the perch. On high, here we go. All right, that's 10 seconds, and it's starting to move it after 10 seconds. I'm just gonna let it take it off and see what happens. So that was a little extra. I gave that, I'm gonna have to check the instant replay. It was probably more like 20 seconds. And we all know after 10 seconds, we've moved to a larger tool. So I'm probably gonna say the cutoff, I don't know, I'll try 245 with the Herc. All right, tighten her down. Try the chemo one more time at 245, or 240 I mean. Going high, guys. Yeah, that took it off a lot quicker than the Hercules did. We're at the 240, and then right there, 5.0, 245. And these hand ones, guys, aren't 100% on the money, but it's pretty close. You know, I try to be as close as I can. Let's try the Herc one more time. Still fully charged up. On high, here we go. Time it. Yeah, 15 seconds, it's not moving. Sure, the chemo. Wow, chemo for 245. All right, let's tighten her down and try the 250, see if the chemo can do it. Hercules tapped out at 245. Torque wrench maxed out at 250. Barely see the 250 right there. Yeah, man. I don't think she can do it, but we'll give it a shot, guys. What do you think? All right, fully charge the battery, just so you guys don't think I'm cheating. See all the dots? Here we go. Wow, 250 for the chemo. That's crazy. Well, that's what it's rated, so chemo can do rated power. That's very impressive. Holy cow. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna get the 2.0 because that's what the kit comes with. I do not feel it can do it with the 2.0. Be right back. This is what the chemo kit comes with, guys. The 2.0. I see she's fully charged up. Slap her on the impact. See if she can do 250 with a smaller battery, which it comes with. Now it claims it can do it on a smaller battery, so let's see. 250 again. Whoa. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Wow, right at the 10 second mark, it took it off. That's very impressive, guys, for a $99 impact wrench. Holy guacamole. All right, final thoughts. I can't believe the chemo outdid the Hercules. Now, with all fair honesty, guys, this is a 3 8 inch anvil. When I was buying it, I had my $2 with me and they were hollering and screaming. I thought I'd grab the half inch anvil. 
because the picture on the box shows a half inch anvil. And I was looking at this, not at the tiny 3 8 down here. So I do have a 3 8 inch 22 millimeter socket, so the test is pretty fair. Can the half inch do a little bit more? Maybe it can squeak, squeak out that extra 10 pounds, foot pounds of torque. So probably it's probably 255, with 3 8 stops at 245. So I will say that. The chemo is a half inch. I know you guys might say this is an unfair test, but I was in such a rush to get out of the store because my daughter was having a meltdown. I grabbed the wrong one. 10 pounds, foot pounds difference, not that big of a deal. Now online on Amazon, I'll leave a link down below. Chemo comes with a 2.0, the charger, standard charger, a bag, and it comes with I think, five sockets and three adapters, which aren't too bad. Here's one of the sockets right here for 99 bucks. And one thing I do like about the chemo, it actually comes with the cover pin to secure your sockets. You see that? Put the pin in, put the uh, thing down, and then that's not coming off, no matter what. I do wish it came with a belt clip. As I said, I hot glued this one on just because I like a belt clip on the smaller impacts. Lift up, oh, and the pin just fell out. See how it has that pin detent option? I like that. All right, so 99 bucks for that kit. The Hercules, right out of Harbor Freight, 89 bucks just for the bare tool. Um, battery, $65, which is really cheap. I like that. You buy the battery and the, the rapid charger, which is $35. So you're right at 100 bucks. You save 25 bucks. So 75 bucks for the battery and charger. I want to say out the door, I actually got them separately. I think it was 160 for me because I did two different coupons. Uh, not bad. A little bit more. This thing has got some grunt to it. I, I just like the way it feels. I just like the way it looks. Chemo has an updated mid torque. I'll post a picture right here, which looks just like the Milwaukee mid torque, the older one, not the newer square one. Um, and I like to get my hands on that bad boy and test it out. That one claims 300 foot pounds of torque. I do have to say, Chemo's right on the money at the 250 uh, foot pounds rating their tool. Um, it's not bad. 99 bucks kit. I, I use it all day long. I've had it for two months maybe, and I use it all the time. Works good, I like it. Both these tools, I give one consumer a thumb up. I like them a lot. The Hercules might be slightly overrated. A little bit of gimmicky wank on the box like every other tool. Enough talking, guys. Before I finish, guys, I wanna give a shout out to one of my subscribers. His name is Brandon. Thank you so much, buddy, for all the support, all the comments, all the feedback. I love it. I appreciate you very much. And guys, go check out his channel. He's up to like 680 some odd subscribers. It's called Impact Nation Tools. Nice little up and coming channel. He just posted a challenge to all the bigger YouTube tool channels to do a challenge. It's take 60 pieces of half inch rebar and cut them with a reciprocating saw of your choice in under 10 minutes, which was his time. It was like 10 minutes, something like that. Um, see if you can do it. Now, I will be doing this challenge. I might need up to two weeks to finish it because this, tomorrow starts the beginning of my busy work week and I have to get a hold of 60 pieces of rebar. <laughs> so check them out guys, Impact Nation Tools. I always wanna to say Impact Tool Nation, but it's Impact Nation Tools, right? Okay, it's early, forgive me. Shout out to your son as well, Brandon. I see some of his pictures on your Instagram. You guys look like you have a lot of fun. I know I love my son and my daughter coming here to help me. It's a lot of fun. I think that's what all I got for you guys. Now, if you wanna know where all my tool money goes, go check out my other channel, it's called Al's Random Vlog. It's mostly car audio, but I also post some random stuff over there, uh, some family stuff. And that's where I've been spending all my tool money is on freaking car audio. Why? Because it's a fun hobby. I like it. Um, the world is freaking crazy, guys. It would not hurt to stock up on some extra supplies. That's all I'm going to say. I might post a full video on my other channel, Al's Random Blog. Go check it out. Be safe out there, guys. Who the hell knows what the next couple months is going to bring? Just take care of your family and be safe. That's all I'm going to say. Until next time, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. See ya.